Hi everyone, it's me Kevin. I am back with yet another video. Today I'm going to be playing on Grendo's Cafe again. Um, I know it's been a little while since I jumped in the site. I think it's actually been like several months, but I made a lot of progress on the site and there's been a lot of updates that have been made. So I thought I'd just kind of show you around. If you don't know what Grundo's Cafe is, um, I made a video previously, so you can go ahead and check that out for a general overview of it. If you're not familiar, it's basically a Neopets private server that's intended to capture like the 2007 essence of Neopets and um, really give you that retro vibe again, but with a more modern twist to it. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat indoors at 9 p.m., it's because I don't have my shit together. So that's my life. I probably should have gone into this with some kind of plan huh? I guess I can start over here with the new features. We get like new stuff added literally every single like almost it feels like every day. There seems to be a new day every day but like they're adding like new versions um, of pets as well as like the retro version of the skull alert. Like when's the last time you even saw the skull alert art? Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah we even had like the chicken nugget chambi added. I think that's a pretty interesting vibe. They added the uh, tester strength thing, and I think they made the odds a little bit better than you would see on the original Neopets. I feel like I was always getting like sub 10 on these, but I got ghost pancakes, which are pretty cool. I'm trying to get a Pustrevaganza card so I can get the Mohawk skull from this scratch card. I might actually try a, few, a handful of those on this video if I am in the mood to. Some of the most fun things that have been added into the game is there's so many new games. Um, I don't know if Meepa Juice Break was there last time, Zutex Tome. There are new featured games now, such as Ad Attack, Carnival Terror, Ice Cream Machine, Fairy Cloud Racers. I don't even know if Extreme Herder was there. Invasion of Marital. It's really exciting to see some kind of like new progress being made within the um, Neopets general like brand. Just because like I feel like a lot of us are really used to just kind of like watching the downfall of the site. So it's nice for once to feel like we're on, you know, a trend upwards. You know, defense and battle magic have recently been added. I think that's a pretty good sign that actual the actual battle doom maybe uh, kind coming in very soon. So if anyone has been training their pets, make sure you're keeping up with that. I think my training is done for my main pets, so I'll go ahead and finish that up. Throw him in another course. I have three of these already, which is very good. Pay that, and we have a 10 hour course to finish. Fun. I. Took a small break from the site for a little while, so I fell all the way from like the 30s into the 40s, which is, it's all right. I'll find my way back eventually. That's what I tell myself about my entire life. So yeah, lots of stuff has been continuously getting added. We also had this enormous event through the winter called the Snowball Event, and basically how it worked was everyone was put into different teams automatically, and then we could like take snowballs and literally throw them at people for points and prizes. There were three teams. I was on Donnie, which got last place. Fitting. And then there were Kari and Snowager, and they released this prize shop with like a bunch of cool stuff like an ice drake egg, something to turn your bruises into ice, sparkly ice lollies, which turned your pet into an ice pet, which is pretty cool. I still have my points because I don't know what to spend it on, and I am paralyzed by the thought that I have to make a decision in my life. Um, something that also got released, I think, with this was the um, Bruce alternate colors, which leads me to my next point about alt colors in general. Once you get a pet of a certain color, if you use one of these alternate color tokens on a pet it activates the ability to like choose one of these different styles of that same color so like these are all different versions of the um, ice colors that are on the site right now i think that's pretty cool there's a ton of different versions of alternate pets that are on here like the mutant and like all these different colors to like show different types of like cats i'm actually not a very big cat person so i don't even know what most of these are but but i'm sure some of you do know Wow, am I making it really obvious that I've been spiraling lately? I hope not, but also if I am, let's call it an aesthetic. I also like that they've been putting some effort into bringing in these retro styles. Um, my favorite is this Grundo right here, more specifically this thing. Why is it double cheeked up? Let's talk about it. As always, questing is still a pretty big part of the site. Um, I failed my last quest just now, but let's see if these uh, items are in the store and I guess I'll try to finish this up. All right, none of these are in the store, so let's see how much they're selling for right now. All right, all right, all right. This is under like 10K, so I think it'll turn a profit. Let's go with it. Ayo, 1K profit and I think this sells for 10K. So if you're playing GC, you should do your daily quests. Um, go ahead and see what I can pull from this. Tiger squash ice cream and milk chocolate eerie. eerie? It's always weird when I say these words out loud because I'm like, is that the right way to say it? 19,000? No thanks. Not gonna do that one either. I think the rewards don't really um, pass that, but usually you just like try to pick up a few and then kind of go back to it and let it expire if it's too much or turn it in if it's good enough. Wow. 
Am I making too much sense? Because when you make too much sense, it just is too much sense. Looks like the cheese tortilla is in the store. A batter of ketchup, 10K. Gonna buy one of those, 3.1K. And usually around 30K is my break even point for doing these kitchen quests. There we go, 17K, I came out a little bit under, but one, if I get a stat, as you saw, I need a lot of code stones to train my pet Reyna on top of like a 12 hour course usually. So it definitely still feels worth it for me to be pulling, pushing these through because kitchen quests um, give your pet stats. This is the case on retail as well. So if you're training your pet, do your kitchen quests. Sorry, I have not been making much content lately. I started a new job and um, it's nothing short of horrifying. Uh, just kidding, haha. <laughs> I recently went on a trip with some friends that I actually made from Neopets, and um, I learned on that trip that I don't drink much water. They were drinking water constantly, and I was like, why do y'all drink so much water? And they're like, no, Kevin, you're the weird one. And I'm like, you mean your pee is not yellow? What are you talking about? And they're like, it should not be dark yellow, Kevin. And I'm like, oh, it's me. I'm the problem. I'm my own problem, turns out. All right, so my very last turn in, and I ended up with one point of defense. I think I got three stats through these 10 quests. Cool. So I actually wanted to maybe touch on some of the newer colors that recently came out um, that are exclusive to the site. One that I've been super excited about and really want to get my hands on some colors of is the edgy colors. Can you freaking look, look, freaking look at these? Aren't these awesome? Especially the Skeeth one. Like, yo, yo, come on. Um, the Valentine style also got added here. Taking a look at some of the colors here, I think that this is pretty cute. Not really my normal vibe, but come on, they're pretty cute. I'll also go ahead and maybe try out some of these games just to show you how like smooth it is. If you didn't see my last uh, Neopets gameplay video, you may have noticed that my ice cream machine at times went very poorly, um, and that is because it was awful. And meanwhile, the people here are literally taking the old assets and like really recreating this to be a more smooth experience that's also compatible for mobile every single time. You know, they just know what they're doing. Like, look how smooth this is. I don't even know what that mushroom is. What the? 420 bonus? See, like, come on, that's attention to detail. And it's just, it works so well. And uh, uh, there's a trick right there. If there are a bunch coming at you and you don't really have anywhere else to go, you can like move your cursor out of the game box and like move it somewhere else and it'll teleport to that. But I actually have not really played this much on GC. I'm not much of a flash games person, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm really good at them though. I have learned that generally, as long as you play these flash games enough times, you can usually get a pretty decent score. It's just a lot of practicing. So I think it's very rare that it's like impossible. And um, I also know that the, the devs like tune these games so that they're always like still relatively playable, which I think is like really cool. There are some scores that may have been a little bit more on the impossible side in the past. So they're trying to like tune the difficulties to that, so that it's more closer to like a bell curve while still having that like challenging aspect there. So there's a there's an attention to detail there. They don't really like half ads anything here. Really encouraging to see consistently. Wow, I'm doing really bad. All right, I finally got an extra life. Um, I think there's like, oh my God. I just got that. Why is this going so fast? Please. Oh. Okay, I got 2,900. Gonna send my score and give up. Um, let's try Sutex Tome. I actually haven't played this one either here. I really like this game. I'm not great at it. All right, I already have some points going. Um, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to start from like the bottom and go to the top or something like that, right? Cause then it like leaves you open to more combos that happen when things fall on the top. And there's supposed to be a code of some kind. I don't feel like looking it up because I'm lazy, but I think there's a code that makes it last a little longer or you can like double do double dip on your time. Something like that. Look at all these free points. I'm already at 560. I don't even know what the avatar score is, but surely it's not that much more than 560. This is kind of a pretty chill game. I feel like this would be a fun game to just like play when you're on the train, like me, when I have an hour and a half commute to work that I got asked to go into twice in a week because work from home clearly doesn't work for some people or something. But like, that's like not like me talking about my own life because that would be too personal to speak about. But maybe it is my life and maybe I'm screaming, but it's fine. Go me. You know, I deserve a lot in my life. 
How does it explode that? I feel like I should figure that out too, because that seems to be a pretty big mechanic in the game. I also know you're supposed to like keep moving because I think while this is like moving up and down, it doesn't use up any of your time. So like that gives you a little bit of extra time to be able to look through the board for a combination that you could go with. But I might have made that up. I also guess I could easily confirm that just by looking at the thing, but I don't like to admit that I'm wrong. So, all right, so I got 3,500. I actually think the avatar score is a bit higher than that. Oh, never mind. I got this avatar. I... I won. Go me. I guess I'll show off my look up a bit. Um, shout out to Aisha for helping me build this out. Yeah, I think one of the coolest parts of Grando's Cafe is that we have customizable um, user lookups and pet lookups. It's really cool that we can have actual coding on our freaking user lookups and, you know, like make it all personalized. Um, I think this is the only pet that I've done anything with. It's a pre-made still, but isn't that fun? Ha <laughs> ha, fun. But otherwise, um, I have a lot of pets that have been painted over the last few months. They've definitely made a lot of like pet painting and pet drake or like croc or like those expensive pet creating much more accessible. That's not to say um, there's no goals to be had in this server just because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, new pets are being released so consistently. Like, look at this freaking like it's a brown galert, but then the alternate version like look how cute this freaking thing is. I want one. I want one. It's not even my style and I want one. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it a video there. Uh, obviously a pretty chill video here, nothing too crazy. I uh, just wanted to highlight some of the new features that came in as well as look at some of the games that got added because I know the team really did a lot of work to build those out and share them out with the group. And I also know that they put a lot of effort into a lot of more economical things, just like game balancing. And I think that's something that's really worth um, taking note of. The sign up for the site is still closed right now. Um, you'll need a referral code to get in. But yeah, I will keep y'all posted on the different updates that get added to Grando's Cafe because I think this is a project that has a lot of longevity tied to it and I think that there's a lot to look forward to so keep your eyes out and yeah um thank you all for watching I hope y'all are staying safe eating a lot of food drinking a lot of water because I sure am not and I will see y'all for the next one bye